Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Keeping Up With MJ and I'm MJ and as you can see from the title this is my home series and today we are diving into the bathroom. I'm going to show you guys my new shower head from Spruce which is so cute. I love it and it's like minimal and very aesthetic and you know I'm an aesthetic girl over here and I am just so excited because I love this shower head like me and my daughter took a shower together the other day. No, the first night I had it, me and my daughter took a shower together. And I was acting like it was the sprinklers. And she was having a ball. Like, she loves it. So, um, that's that. Um, so, we're going to unpack that. We're going to get into my perfume collection in the by the window. Put into my skincare cart, but not too much because it's a hot mess. So, not too much on me, okay? I'm going to be inserting different clips because I shot this when my dad was installing it and I'm going to insert those clips as well so that you guys can see the process and see how easy it is to do. Um, and towards the end of the video, I'm just going to show y'all in real time right now what the bathroom is looking like. shower head on oh, step two that's that little black part right hand tight she put it in the connector until the hose connection is pointing down and tall hose unscrew it and then put the glue inside so that's what my dad is doing right now Honestly, I thought that it was going to be like flimsy, but it's actually 
not. It's very sturdy and it's very quality. Like, this is high quality. This one of them shower heads, I'm gonna be singing in the shower like, oh, oh, let me go. Never, never, never want to let you go. That's three levels, and I want to show you guys the three levels that it has for this shower head. So, let's do it. All right, y'all. So, this is the regular pressure. So, it has three levels. So, this is number one. Number two, and this is number three. Also, the really nice thing about this shower head is that you can either put your shower head up top. I'm probably never even gonna be with it like that. But up top, or you can just rest it here while you're like soaping your body or whatever. And this part right here, actually, you can turn it, turn it up to bring it down lower so like if you have a little kid bathing this could be their little shower which is basically for my toddler um, she likes to sprinkle it so she's gonna love this she already loves it <laughs> or you could just bring it all the way up if you want it at this level I'm probably gonna use this level versus putting it all the way up top my husband's gonna use that but this level probably is gonna be fine for me but I'm just gonna leave it right here there's a mirror there's a cup holder so in this cup you can like put your razors toothbrush toothpaste all that stuff if you want to brush your teeth in the bathroom and stuff like that um you can put that back here and i love that they have this so that the water doesn't stay and get nasty and then last but not least they have this part which you can put your soap dish so for example let me use my um uni cleanser for this but if I wanted to put that right there, I can. If I wanted to put my Natrium body wash here, I can. So just so you guys can get a look at what we're dealing with. But it's gonna be outside. Like my shower. Voila, my shower. Alright y'all, so for video purposes, I did remove our rags from in the bathroom because y'all don't need to be seeing our rags, you know what I mean? But this is the bathroom right now. It's so cute. I love this spruce so much. So moving on, we have my shelves up here. I'm going to give you a better look. But my shelves are right there and then over here we have my nail polish collection. My bathroom is not huge because this is an NYC apartment, but I try to make the most out of the space that I have in my bathroom. So I did ask my dad to help me install the shelving, as you can see right there, and then the nail polish collection for the wall because I have a lot of nail polishes. And my favorites are from Olive and June. So like majority of them over here are from Olive and June. I have like a couple from Etsy, but Olive and June is my girl. And then over here by the window, I have my perfume stand. Now, I don't know why my hands are getting tired holding the camera, but um, over there I have my um, my perfume collection. Over there is where you see my cart with my skincare products. And then we have our laundry basket right there. So it's not much, but we make the most out of the bathroom. I try to. Okay, and I'm also trying to give my husband more space in the bathroom because it's like majority of my things and it's all like skincare products and stuff like that. Because I'm a content creator, I get PR products and stuff like that. So the majority of the bathroom is gonna have my stuff, which is normal for a female, you know? So hopefully he don't hold it against me too heavy, you know what I mean? But I did give him space, half of the cabinet under the sink so pat on the back to me on that i'm being very mindful and very thoughtful okay here we have my perfume collection as you can see it's probably four by four so 16 17 perfumes and underneath this little rack here there's more perfumes underneath and i have more perfumes in the bedroom as well but these are the ones that i want to put on display because they are my absolute favorites so yeah and then over here right next to my shelvings this is my nail polish collection the majority of it is olive and june because they are my girls 
And these four right here are a different brand. I don't know the name of the brand, but Olive and June always have me covered. Last but not least, we have my shelving. This is the first shelf, and then this is the one that's really high up. So up here, I just put all of my hair products. And here is just like my diffuser from Seasons and my Black Girl um, vitamins. And behind there are some body lotions and body skincare products as well. And of course I needed my um, cotton swaps. <laughs> and this little thing you cut the candles with. I used to have a candle up here. I don't know where it is. I had a black candle up here. But I gotta find it and put it back because it was in this spot right here. But um, yeah. I just recently added these books here with a candle and along with this plant my husband got me that's the name of the plant in case you want to know but this is what it's looking like over here it's really cute I didn't show you guys every single thing in the bathroom because I do have something else that I want to show y'all when I do make that upgrade. I have an acrylic shelf with my skincare products by the toilet, like on that wall because that's an empty wall. But I do want to add these lights I saw on Amazon, so I'm going to order those. And then I'm also going to ask my dad to come help me install it. And I'm going to show y'all that in the next part. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love this home series and it's just really fun. I'm a home decor enthusiast, <laughs> so I'm out here showing y'all my interior design and all that other good stuff, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it because I love creating content like this, and it just brings me joy to like decorate my home and just make it feel really cozy and beautiful, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in part two. Make sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.